we're here with Gally um, at Yu-Gi-Oh! World 2018 here in Chiba. And he's going to give us his deck profile and a little bit about the experience on the tournament. So Gally, uh, how does it feel to top Worlds four times? Uh, it was actually my worst performance ever. Uh, but it's good. I like it. Uh, it was fun. The people were really nice. Uh, the event was good. Um, didn't start off so well. I lost round one um, to Matteo, the Italian. He drew godly both games and it's nothing to do. Um, then I won out. Uh, I had one draw. And then lost in top eight to Borden. I think he's in the final now, so we're in hoping he'll win. Okay, awesome. Um, let's get into the deck profile and then you can just tell us about some of your rounds. Alright, okay. Uh, so I'm playing Goki. Um, it's not, I don't think it's standard, I'll show you guys. It's the first time I played the deck. Um, <laughs> uh, I played uh, three Suprex, um, three Cobra, two Octo Stretch, one Rescorpio, and one Headbutt. Um, I didn't play the Bear Hog. Um, I, I'm not playing Gumbla, so you didn't really need it to like to extra extend to uh, to set up Gumbla. And it's just a brick unless you open Suprex, so I just wanted to try and minimize that as much as possible. Not that it helped <laughs> in the top eight for bricking. Uh, Junk forward is probably the best extender. I wasn't playing Marauding, but in the end, um, I got a little bit scared of bricking, so I put in two. Uh, Terra Top with a Tekken Mark, uh, the Ibli, and then I decided to play Hand Traps. Um, I knew Goku was going to be popular. I knew it wasn't going to be the most popular or 50-50 with Alter guys, mm -hmm. uh, at least in the TCG. We didn't know what the OCG were playing, so I ended up going for Cherries. Uh, this was weird because I decided to play Gamma. Um, this is decent because at least it combos with a uh, rank 3 engine, but this doesn't. Um, however, this is like the best Hand Trap versus um, the mirror match, uh, they can't push through this. It's very difficult. Like, Call by the Grave doesn't do anything, Dolphin doesn't do anything, and it actually gets rid of that monster. So if they went to, into Invoker and you do this, they actually need two extenders to actually push through. So this is really good. Okay, it's uh, also like good because it's still a special summon to bowl through Firewall, right? So you can still come yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, you can still come if you, if you go off, it's just still a monster to, to play. <laughs> then two Ash, and then my 40th card, I put in one bell. Um, I didn't think people were gonna be playing around this. Um, and they didn't, so it's all right. And then for the spells, three instant, uh, two rematch, uh, one of each of the equips. Uh, I actually lost in the top eight because I drew two of these and, and driver, so nothing to do. Uh, reinforcement and soul charge. So I'm not playing reborn, it's not a star, it's not anything. I'm not playing dolphin, same reason, it doesn't start, it's just if your hand is already good, then it does something. Um, I'm also not playing Call by the Grave um, because going second, it's not very good. And going first, um, like post siding, I, I, I don't know. I, I just felt like there were so many hand traps that it doesn't play around. I thought Impermanent was gonna be very uh, popular and I thought Gamma was gonna be very popular. I think everybody was playing those. So it's, it, it's like you kind of want to draw it and then hope that it hits one of the hand traps that they have. Um, I didn't think it was worth it. And then post side, I'll show you what was siding. Um, that it was made a difference, so I didn't really want to try and necessarily push through hand traps when it wasn't necessary. And uh, three impermanence. That's uh, 40. Okay. So for the side deck, I sided really heavily against um, against Altergeist. I didn't really side that much, like in particular for Sky Striker. I didn't think it was going to be as popular as it did. I actually played two. So I played uh, Triple Twin, Triple Reboot, which are probably the two best ones. And then instead of Evenly or anything like that, I just added three Cosmic. Um, like all the Altergeist cards, uh, they're they minus one um, to make sure they resolve they, because they're attributed as a cost. So if you chain any of these, it's like really big. Um, so yeah, it, this is not that great versus uh, versus pure uh, Sky Striker because they, they can usually get two uh, window, window anchors. But yeah, it's fine. And then the last six cards were just trap cards. So two strikes, this were uh, two scoldings that Konami let me, uh, a solemn and a warning. So basically the theory is, um, like, versus Altergeist, my monsters are just bigger. So if I, I just side in, like, Spell Trap Hate and Monster Hate, and they can't, they can't get over it. And then versus the Mirror Match, um, even if they Cherry, uh, they have to push through next turn. So if I have any of these, I, I just stop them, and then I kill them next turn no matter what. Um, so that's the theory. Uh, instead of playing Called by the Grave, or uh, Midfield Breaker, I think it's called, or anything like that, or Dolphin, that each lose to some hand trap and not the others. Um, you can't play around everything, so if you like uh, try and push through and they stop you, um, I guess you could play Gillosaurus and stuff to push through, uh, but I'd rather just play uh, more consistent. So even if they stop me, then um, I'm gonna kill them next turn because they're not gonna be able to push through. 
and it, it worked out. Um, apart from breaking in the top eight, uh, my only loss was round one because my opponent opened, I don't know, Terra Top, uh, Gamma, Cherry, Soul Charge, and it's just unplayable both games. Um, other than that, it, it did what it was supposed to do. Um, and the extra deck, so for the three, this. Um, I think the mandatory, uh, this. Um, I think this is mandatory, both of them. The mermaid, the goblin, uh, one of each. So instead of playing the second goblin, which only really comes up when you draw Ibli, um, I ended up playing uh, two Phoenix. And it actually came up quite a lot because I played a lot of uh, Sky Strike and Alter Guys. So like, they stopped me and just in the grind game, I ended up doing like both of these. Then I played uh, Unicorn, Trigate, and Firewall. Um, and then last two slots with this. Uh, this could have been caught, it was all right. And then Griffin. Um, in the top eight, um, I heard the commentator saying like, they thought I was misplaying by going into this, but it, it wasn't a misplay. I'm not playing Gumbler. Uh, th this is easy to make, and you don't need a full hand to actually go into this. And it's very hard to get over this. And particularly versus um, Alter Guys, the plan was to end on something like, uh, this uh, with this resource with a rematch set and you end with uh, seven other cards so even if they somehow break your board which is really difficult because metal seek doesn't do anything multi faker doesn't do anything the normal summon guy doesn't do anything they can't tag it so they need uh, a way to get over this which is only like uh, Ra which they're still probably gonna die next turn um, or rivalry plus something and they're so far behind because I play nine spell trap removals so I'm gonna have like three or four at least so that's not an out and even if they get this, I have rematch plus the rematch I searched. I have two rematches plus spell strap hit, spell strap hit, plus the monsters. Um, and it was a way more consistent version because if I spit out all, I have a lot of extra deck left. So if I spit out all my extra deck and just waste my resources and they somehow break my board, then I, it's, it's more of a struggle. Um, like I played against one of the altar guys once and then they rad, I make another board, they rad. And it didn't matter uh, because every time they set two, I was like twin twister. Uh, cosmic and then I just summon a monster attack even if they're doing all that stuff they couldn't do anything um, and I, if you draw Ibli you can either you or you can still go into this even with one goblin so I, I prefer that because you can make this came up way more than a gumbler because for gumbler you needed them not to have a hand trap and for you to fully push and that required me to probably play bear hog which I really didn't want to do um, but yeah that was it um, I played an Italian round one he beat me Round two, I played um, the Peruvian. Um, I won because uh, his strategy was like the old version. He was playing, um, I think it was Draw, uh, Dolphin, Exchange, and those cards aren't that great right now um, with the new meta. Like, mm -hmm. um, round three, I played an Asian, an OCG player. He was uh, Sky Striker. I beat him 2-0. Then I played, um, I drew with another Japanese player, uh, Alter Guys, and then round last round I beat another uh, Sky Striker, and then top eight, yeah, uh, lost to Bowden. He, um, he should be playing, I don't know, like in a couple of hours. So I really want him to win. He's a good friend. Um, experience was good. Wish I could have gone a little bit further, but yeah. Uh, shout outs, I guess. I have a um, question. I have a question. Oh yeah. How many times did you draw Ibli and had to How like? How many times I drew Ibli? Uh, once, I think. And so, I got hand trapped anyway. So okay, so you didn't bounce the goblin back to you, actually. No, and I wasn't gonna go do it anyway. <laughs> um, that's like, if you draw Ibli, you can either bounce it back and end up with a U, or you can just end with the Griffin play, and like the Griffin play is just good enough. Okay. Uh, specifically versus Alter guys, I, I don't want to do the U anyway. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, shout outs, uh, shout outs to uh, my friends in Panama. Hi guys. Uh, to United Ghosts. Uh, big shout out to Paolo um, and Luke. Uh, be between us three we came up with the deck Luke actually ran card for card the same deck and Paolo was a heavy influence on that uh, so thank you man um, to all the guys in the UK uh, to the sponsor Ultimate Guard um, <laughs> to everybody at the event to Konami to just everybody uh, I, was, I was gonna miss some people so I'm gonna stop there uh, but it's a really good experience um, I don't know if I'm gonna come get a chance to come a fifth time. I said that at about the second, the third, the fourth. But uh, it was fun, and yeah. Thank right. you guys. Thanks, Gary. Bye.